Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and today we're going to review Python for Everybody specialization. This is another course on Coursera in my series of videos reviewing different courses, different specializations on Coursera. This one is a very basic one. It comes from University of Michigan. It's also very highly rated with a rating of 4.8 given by quarter million ratings and there's over 600,000 students already enrolled in the course. So that already says a lot about the course. Uh, and it's really great. It's really great for beginners. So if you have no experience with coding, you did only humanities, art classes, social sciences, but you want to get into coding and you want to start as basically as possible with the instructions on how to install everything, how to even start writing and why, why Python, what's programming, why Python, what to do uh, with coding and how to approach that, then this course is for you. This is a very basic course uh, really, so if you already did at least, if you have already written at least one line in Python, this course is not for you because uh, it's, it's that basic. But on the other hand, if you are starting in humanities and I want to switch into something more technical, then this is really a great course. The, the whole specialization consists of five courses and it's starting with very basic on how to install Python and developing into more interesting, more advanced, more sophisticated methods, but still very basic ones that you need in order to enter into programming and coding. So let's have a look inside. Uh, basically, if you go down below, then you will be able to see uh, those five courses and I'm going to discuss some of them in more detail, some of them in less detail, but in general, the link to the course, to the link to the specialization is down below if you want to subscribe for the specialization. So the whole course starts with programming for everybody, getting started with Python. So let's have a look at that. Basically, uh, this course uh, is really for the beginners who have never even installed anything uh, like Anaconda or like any, they never written the, the, the program. Uh, and it's great in that because uh, you have people explaining to you why you should use Python, why Python is great because it is great. And why would, would you bother with programming in the first place? So there are a couple of hours of videos in each of the weeks and then you have a couple of exercises and quizzes to accomplish. Basically this first course is uh, really basic, it's mostly about installing and writing your very first basic programs. So just to feel a little bit more comfortable with how Python works and so as you can see, there are a couple of hours each week you have to complete. So it's not really time intensive to start. And you really should consider that if you want to get more into technical side. So as you can see there, week four is already variables and expressions, but that's also really basic. Uh, they cover that, then you do some, uh, some kind of quizzes or there are exercises that you can submit for uh, grading. So it's really great. Uh, there are in total, I think, yeah, seven weeks, uh, ending with loops and iterations. And then basically that's it. You, you learn how to install Python, you learn how to do basic things with Python. So next comes the, the course number two, and that's Python data structures, which is also a great beginner course to actually understand things like what structures you have in Python and things like strings, uh, like this is the, installing Python again, but things like how to operate on files, building lists, dictionaries. So this is all really necessary to actually do any kind of data manipulation in Python. Really great, really basic and great to learn right away. So again, seven weeks, uh, that's the whole course and then you can go forward. So then course number three in this specialization is using Python to access web data. So it's all about scraping, using APIs, working with HTML, XML and JSON files. Uh, and one thing I haven't mentioned yet, this whole course is also based on a book called Python for Everybody. So the same, uh, the same title as the course. And basically uh, you can see which chapters are covered in each, in which course. So especially if you want to have the complete experience, you can also buy the book and complement that with this course. I will also give the link to the book so that uh, you can see the both 
uh, both things at the same time. Then course number four is using databases with Python. So that's also something standard because especially if you want to use Python to manipulate data like in data science or in statistics, then you need to have tools for that. So that's the goal of course number four. And then the final course is uh, the capstone project. So it's about use, applying all these methods and visualizing data in Python in order to build something cool. So you have something tangible that you can show to others. And that's basically it. So this course, Python for Everybody, uh, is really a specialization for anyone who has absolutely no experience in programming and wants to find his or her first course uh, in Python. This is it. And this is definitely a good choice uh, considering all the reviews, considering how many students already went through the program and were satisfied with the outcome. Uh, so that's it. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. If you like this kind of uh, content, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like and stay tuned for more videos.